I'm on. Hello, everybody. This is Paul Neeson from the Raw Life Health Show. Uh, well, here we are in Lake Worth, Florida at the Soma Center, a raw food cafe. I just gave a lecture here about the daylight diet, uh, and we're here with some of my friends. Here's Jenna, a Poverty Health Institute graduate. <laughs> uh, here we have Andrea with Hi. Noah. Yeah. Uh, and here we have my friend Christian, who I know for many, oh, many years. I met him when he lived on a school bus. He taught me about uh, the, the great healing benefits of simplicity. Uh, and here's Josh in the background there. Say what's up, Josh. Okay, three okay. things. Okay. Microwaves, no. Yay! Okay. Agave. No. Yeah. Bread, no. I'm done. We just gave <laughs> Josh a, a great go. lesson. Just starting out. Uh, and, and here, say your name. Aaron Hennessy. Aaron Hennessy. Uh, you know, now, my friend Christian used to live in a school bus, and he upgraded to a tent. Uh, and, 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 and you would think he would never find a woman, right, because he lived in a tent. But uh, it's but the greatest way to live, and he goddess. found a woman uh, who lives in a tent. And I'm telling you, you know, I, I, I don't live in a tent, but I spend a lot of time in tents. And... Uh, tell us about your tent living lifestyle, and you're a raw foodist, so it makes it easy to live in a tent. Yes. Uh, so we're going to start a new movement, uh, you know, but we got to keep our shirts on for this interview here. Uh, and I'm not saying this anything to you, but... Uh, but you don't want to see this beautiful raw body? Come on! First, we want to hear about yeah. your tent. First, we want to hear about your tent. The tent is beautiful. We wake up to the birds. If you live, um, when you wake up before sunlight, you'll hear those birds singing you awake. And um, we go to bed when the moon comes out and shines us to sleep. Uh, okay, and you eat a raw food diet. Absolutely. Yes. And you eat a daylight diet, right? Yes, we eat the daylight diet. Eat your main meals when the sun is hot and your digestive fire is active. Great. One of the great things that I want you to talk about is you know that makeup is toxic, and, and, yes. and, and we really have to be careful what we put on our face and in our body. Even perfume, if, if we shouldn't put it in our body, we shouldn't put it on our body. You understand this, and I talk about this in my book, The Daylight Diet. Tell us more about this and uh, this There's continent. many, many toxins in the things that we have out. out you know, we're buying shampoos, conditioners, lotions, sunscreens, you name it, to um, makeups as well. Women put this on every day, every morning. Sometimes they apply twice, three times a day, from lipsticks to blushes, foundations. If you're going to wear it, if you can't live without it, if you just cannot thrive your way of life without it, do something like um, that's coming from the essentials of the earth. There's a few brands out there that actually don't use the toxins. But perfumes, bottom line is not only are they toxic, but they're desensitizing you. You're losing your sense of smell with the toxins that are in perfumes. So essential, essential oils, oils is better, right? Absolutely the way All to right. go. Way to go. And you sleep on the floor, right? We do. You guys sleep, sleep on the floor. On the All earth. right. We sleep in a bed. We simplicity. Sleep on the All earth. about simplicity. Here's my other friends, Jenna and Josh. We sleep in a bed. Uh, they sleep in a bed and Jenna wears makeup. Uh, uh, in the bed. No. We're all about what you shouldn't be doing. Uh, uh, no, but Jenna graduated from Hippocrates Health Institute, Yay. and she's uh, teaching her husband, uh, Josh, about uh, Hippocrates Health Institute. But Josh just, and Jenna just came to my lecture about the daylight diet, uh, and they, they made a commitment to go on it immediately. And tonight was the last time they said they were going to eat uh, uh, at nighttime, right? That's exactly correct. And we're going okay. to go home and throw out our microwave. Yay. They're going to they're gonna go throw out their microwave and everything else, and uh, then they're going to uh, move into a tent, and they're going to sleep on the floor every night, well, right? Guys, from a, from a newbie's perspective, it can be very overwhelming, but Paul really steps you through it in this Raw Life book. I highly recommend if you're just getting into this lifestyle, you don't know where to start, you don't know what to do, this is like, it should be called baby step diet, because a little bit at a time, a little difference can make it go a long way. Yeah, speaking of babies... Yeah. How you doing there, baby? Uh, our baby there's Andrea. She's not on the daylight diet. She's not on the daylight diet, but she's on a, a mother's breast milk diet. You know, and uh, okay, back to you guys. You want to share anything else with the raw food world out there? The raw food world out there, eat your hemp seeds. It's an amazing source of protein. All your amino acids, including the eight essential your body's not producing on its own, including your omega-3 to 6 ratio is the closest to what the body needs, as opposed to some other sources out there that are too high in your six. Eat goji berries, 11 trace minerals, 22 essential minerals, 18 amino acids, 6 vitamins. Okay, I think eight. they like... I think they like goji berries. Goji, goji berries, berries. Okay. and hemp seeds. Uh, I'm, I'm all into the uh, all into the hemp seeds. Absolutely. Uh, and, and it's very important. Many people on a raw food diet do not have. Uh, they eat uh, too little protein. Uh, they definitely need to get that. Uh, so way to go. And very the goji berries. Protein. Alkaline uh, protein. Uh, alkaline protein. Yeah. And uh, uh, my suggestion for everyone out there with the goji berries is uh, they're wonderful if you soak them overnight because they yes. are a dried yes. fruit. Yes. Yeah, and, and dried fruit is too high in sugar, so you must soak them overnight. True. Yeah, they don't taste as sweet, but they're better for your body. And true. the better for your body, the more sweet you'll be to other people. So, uh, <laughs> uh, all right here. Well, thanks for those tips. Thank and you, uh, And, uh, you know, we'll Namaste. be interviewing Namaste. you again. We'll be hanging Namaste. out and eating durians Namaste. and all that good Durian. stuff. And uh, we'll have to come over to your tent sometime. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. 
Do you want to share your, uh, uh, this is Jenna and this is Josh here. Jenna, do you want to share your experience at Apocrates Health Institute? Um, Speak loud and put your hand away from your mouth. What, share my experience, why I went there. Yeah, why you went there, what you got out of it, and would you recommend other people go there? No, I would t definitely recommend for everybody to go there. I went there just as a healthy person, thinking I, you know, I was going to go try to help somebody else who, in my life who was sick. So I went there to investigate um, some things about trying to help somebody else. And while I was there, I learned that they had a health education program coming up. And really, as soon as I walked in the door and saw the people there and saw the food and the salad bar, I was like, this is the place for me. This, are, this is it. So um, the health educator program started like two days later, and I just went in and signed up. And basically that was, um, they put you on the, their three-week life change program, which is what everybody who goes there goes through. And it's three weeks of eating the food, um, hearing the lectures. You have wheatgrass twice a day. You have green drinks twice a day. And then you have your sprout salad twice a day. And it's really more food than anybody needs. Um, but the most mind-blowing thing was the first day you're there, they prick your finger and do a live blood cell analysis where you see your blood on a screen and that was really a wake-up call for me because when I saw what my blood looked like and what it, what healthy blood looked like, it really was not healthy. And, you know, through the course of going through and um, changing my diet and um, spending all the weeks there, at the end when I, you know, saw the change in my blood, it was really motivating and really made me realize you know, the changes I could make and how much healthier I could be. So Wonderful. And now you're thriving at the raw food diet, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it was really a great experience. And um, my husband was a little scared because when I was there, I gave up my wine and I gave up my fish and I gave up all the sugar and I, I really cleaned up my diet a lot. And slowly those things have crept back into my diet, which I always thought it was healthy to have a glass of red wine or a piece of fish. But you really realize that... Um, that you don't, you know, the alcohol is not good. And how old and are you? I'm 45. Uh, oh, wow, okay. 45. I'm 45, I mean, you know. But, um, you don't look a day over 44. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, you look amazing, and, uh, and, I, and have, I know even I, before the diet you look this good, but, but it just made you even look better. Yeah, well, I've always eaten really healthy and pretty vegan, but being a vegan that means you can have wine, and being a vegan means you can have sugar. And those are really not healthy, and you, you see that in your blood. And when you give those things up and you see the change that the raw foods make, the living foods and the oxygenating your blood, it makes a huge difference. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Any changes you've noticed in her, Josh? <laughs> yes. Since going on a raw food Hippocrates yes, I've diet. Noticed, um, a couple things. I think, you know, happier, more energetic, um, just a, more of a brightness, more of a glow. <laughs> about her than normal, um, so I think it's really, uh, agree with her uh, a lot. Great, wonderful. All right, everybody, here's uh, Paul Neeson signing out for uh, the Royal Life Video Show, and we want to thank, we want to thank Jenna and Josh. Welcome, thank you, Paul. And, uh, and, and uh, anything, any pardon words you want to say here before it gets too late? We love you, Paul. Thank All you right. very much for Thanks a wonderful, for wonderful night. We had a great evening. time. We recommend stuff. everyone here the daylight diet. Everyone should. You got me back on the wagon. Okay. I fell off the wagon. Now I'm back on it. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to check up on you guys. All, All right. right. Thank you very much, everyone. This is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Video Show. Have a wonderful night and great raw life. All right.